Hello and welcome, it's Anne van Rinsburg and today I want to show you what I'm going to do with this um, gourd or calabash. Um, I'm going to use um, this air dry clay and I've got a few molds here. Some of them are outside your view. So what I'm going to do is I'm... Uh, uh, oh, firstly, if you want to clean this, if you get it raw or on, you know not cleaned yet, then you need to soak it in... Um, water for about an hour or so under, under the water you must put something a weight or something on top then you can take it out and you use a metal scorer that you use in the kitchen or so and then you just scrub it down and um, this got a lot of marks sometimes you've got lovely marks i usually love these because um it tells me the story of this god's life but uh, for now i'm just gonna put this paper clay molds on top of this air dry mold sorry uh, air, um, modeling clay but it's air dry and then I'm going to um, paint it so uh, I'm just gonna start um, putting these in my molds uh, I've dusted it a little bit with mazina or corn flour starch or whatever you call it in your country um, so yeah Let's get starting. Uh, you, you're going to see me work on these and I'm going to glue them down with this wood glue or otherwise you can use ordinary wood glue or kawalame as we call it in South Africa. And um, I just want to take this excess off. So I'm not, I'll, I'll talk in between when I start doing other things but for now while I'm busy with the molds and stuff you will just see me uh, do this and then I'm going to speed it up a little bit that you don't get too bored.
Okay, I'm finished for now. Um, I'm gonna let it dry. You can see all the detail and stuff there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I'm gonna paint it. So uh, I'll come back 
when it's dried and I, I will show you how I painted it and what it will look like when it's finished. See you again or later. Okay, I left this overnight. So um, I'm just going to um, paint this um, It's your Madame Pompadour Petit Rouge paint. I'm just going to paint this whole um, gourd with this and then I'm going to put my antique glaze on top of it and then I'm going to wipe it away with my with my um, baby wipes. So here I go. I will see if I'm going to put one or two coats on top of this. I think maybe just one is going to be fine. But uh, we will see when we get there. Just get yourself a brush that goes into all these nooks and crannies. Um, this Petit Rouge is a South African company. I love their paint, it's very nice. It's one of my favorites. Um, I don't know if this has been done before on a, on a gourd, I'm not sure, but we plant a lot of gourds and I love, I love gourds, so yeah, I decided to try and use my new molds on, on them. Uh, if you're from South Africa, I bought these molds and this uh, chalk paint locally, so... Uh, It's not something that you need to import or wait for or something. If you really want to know what I'm using and where I got it, you can just uh, ask me in the comments. Um, I just want to show you, if you do a stippling effect, you're going to get this, I don't know if you can see this, you're going to get this um, texture. So depending on what you want, you can use your brush that way.
Okay, I think I'm finished for now. Now I need to let this dry. And as soon as it's dry, I will come back and I will show you um, how to put this glaze on top. And then uh, we're going to seal it and then we're finished. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. It's dry now, so I'm going to start to um, brush it with this uh, antique. It's a uh, glaze, so um, and then I'll wipe it off as I go along. I'll work in sections because I don't want it to get too dry so you can just check just make sure you go into all the crevices and all the faults and stuff So you just wipe on the surface, you can take off as much as you want, you want the dark stain to stay in those areas everywhere. Okay, I think I'm finished. So now I just need to let it dry. You can see uh, up in the close-up. We've got this old 
look so I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'll come and show you before I varnish it okay this one is dry now so I'm gonna take my Inca gold gold gilder paste I'm just gonna use my finger like that I'm just gonna touch slightly on the raised areas just to put the touch of gold on here so I'm gonna speed this up that you don't need to watch me doing this over and over so I'll um, just go along now I'm going to put it in the sun now to dry a little bit and then I'm just going to wipe off the excess and then I'm going to varnish it. Okay, I've just taken a, a paintbrush and I've just wiped off all the loose gold. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start uh, varnishing this. I'm using a, a wood base varnish. Uh, you can use any varnish that you've got. A craft one or this is um, actually one that you can paint on uh, if you've done uh, something on your wall and uh, paint it on your wall you can just cover it with that um, the only thing that with this one uh, it's very hard wearing but uh, it makes a little bit of bubbles I don't know if you can see that but you must just take something like your breath or a Hair dry or something and just pop them before they dry otherwise they will dry with bubbles so please excuse me blowing on this the whole time I'm going to speed it up I don't want you to uh, watch the whole press process you you just take your varnish and you just put it in everything where you can and you just um, do your whole calabash or your gourd so um, I'm going to speed this up now.
Okay, I've put on the second coat. Um, you can see um, it looks it looks quite nice. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of work, but it was worth the effort. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe and hit that bell that I can. Uh, and then you can see me in future uploads. Uh, I would love to experiment with anything, if everything. If there's something you want me to see do to do, or something that you would love to see, if you've got the, the the means and everything, I will I will try my best. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. I'll see you next time.